Lauren Ritchie from Waffle TV, sponsored by Boomers, and today I'm joined with Paul. How are you guys today? <laughs> good. Yeah, very well. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So tell us about the show. Uh, the piece is called Pole. It's about ladies who pole dance. Um, we interviewed pole dancers from various walks of life, and all the text in the show is verbatim. It is a, phys a physical theatre and dance piece, um, but primarily it's a verbatim theatre piece. Yeah. So how did you do your research for the show? How did you find these women to talk to and hear their stories? They kind of came to us in a way. So uh, Lyndall's been training in pole dancing for three years and so she's met a few people who pole dance and they come from different places like you said. So uh, we interviewed a, a pole dance instructor uh, who's Lyndall's instructor and then we interviewed a banker who pole dances in the same gym and then through my brother we found someone who is a stripper so we interviewed her and then Lindell found someone else who works in the sex trafficking industry. So it's like yeah. that, like, con you know, contacts that we kind of didn't know we had, but it ended up being really helpful. You deal with some difficult issues in the show, as well as it being funny and comical, but was that a challenge to get the tone right and deal with those issues? Um, I think certainly it was, because we wanted a balance between light and dark, so we want to promote pole dance and pole fitness as something that's moved away from anything exploitative and um, you know women find it so empowering to, and so strengthening to, to dance like that on the pole and I certainly do and the pole fitness environment is one which is really positive and healthy and it's a community of, of friends and all that sort of thing but and, and women freely choose to pole dance um, but then we sort of questioned women who don't have a choice at all, um, namely the that's what made me become interested in the sex trafficking industry um, because those women are completely robbed of a choice and are forced on stage to pole dance and can't even really call that pole dance as it were because yeah. as a pole dancer I use the pole, these ladies are you know horrifically kidnapped and forced on stage completely naked and then I think yeah. I think that it, that's the mix that we try to achieve. Like it's a balance. Like Amy is a script editor, and we tried to get that balance right with the interviews. Yeah, absolutely. Because we needed a balance. We needed it, the one of the ultimate messages for the piece is it is an empowering one. It's a really feminist piece. We want women to come and see it and think, oh wow, that's that's amazing. Um, rather than gearing it towards a male audience, which I think tr traditionally pole dancing is at. So even though we do touch on the darker sides, I think it's important to note that it is equally balanced and that we're, we're basically giving the audience a spectrum of stuff to come away with so they can make their own opinions up about it. Hopefully they can reassess the opinions that they already have. Um, so in terms of choosing what we put into the script was very important because we didn't want it to be too heavily weighed as a negative. We needed everything to be related in pole dancing in one way. So I think by doing that, we got the balance right. So what is the message you want to send to your audience? I think, I mean, we leave it open in the sense that you can make your own conclusions, but we all believe that pole is an empowering tool for women to get in touch with their femininity, their sexuality, and feel free and tone up. Literally just that. Um, but we can't avoid you know, as, as Lyndall said, touching the darker sides of it. So I think everyone's just free to make their own conclusions, but you're in also to, to have fun. Like, it yeah. is a fun show. We yeah, have, yeah. like, a bunch of amazing dance numbers. Lots and of laughter. People yeah, yeah. laugh so much. And, and, you know, like, I think it's a very whole show in that sense, you know? What kind of music is it that you dance to? Um, we have three key numbers in the piece. So our first piece, we wanted to sort of present a standard pole Show number, girl. showgirl kind yeah. of number, to sort of say, okay, yeah, this is the pole dancing show, to kind of meet those audience expectations, and then halfway through the song, we just cut and basically start talking about what we think pole is. Yeah. And then we have a number um, that's cent centered around the stripper character. So it's, um, it is erotic, although we keep our clothes on, but we also wanted to um, in the choreography, tell us tell the story of, yeah. of that character as well. So the numbers feature a lot of physical theatre, and then so that's kind of more grindier uh, kind of piece. And then um, to finish, we have a, a, a redemption angel kind of dance in a white dress. It's more contemporary dance based. Yeah. Um, but we don't want to reveal too much. No, the idea no spoilers, no spoilers. Yeah. Beginning, middle, and end. Tell me, do you know where the ostentatious cue will be? It's right there. <laughs> Thank you so much.
much for talking with us. Thank you. And to her. Thanks. <laughs> Come and see Paul is at midnight every night at the Underbelly Cowgate. And there's still tickets left, but we're selling really well. So book in advance. Yeah. Thank Woo. you. This has been Waffle TV.